हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट so gastroesophageal reflux disease treatment we can do medical therapy along after medical therapy the medical therapy is failed or in due to some indications we can also do surgical therapy can also be done for the gastroesophageal reflux disease so the surgical therapy for gastroesophageal reflux disease is first we will see the indications of surgical therapy surgical therapy is indicated if there is severe if the patient has severe esophageal injury like stricture ulcer stricture or if the patient has barrett's esophagus if the patient has incomplete resolution of symptoms symptoms will not resolve completely or if the patient has relapses of symptoms even on medical therapy even when the patient is on medical therapy if there is symptoms will recur or relapse then you should do surgical management if the symptoms are present for a longer period of time or if the symptoms are present in a younger age group children younger age group uh, adults or adolescents who are of younger age group then we should do surgical therapy is indicated what surgery do you do we have an anti reflex surgery called has nissen spondoplication which is the gold standard for the diagnosis of gastroesophageal reflux disease then one more important thing is right right in some patients may have mechanically defective sphincter okay if the patients have mechanically defective sphincter especially who will have this mechanically de defective sphincter sometimes mechanically defective sphincter is seen in right mechanically defective sphincter is seen in people who have more than 10 years life expectancy and because of this mechanically defective sphincter because of this defective sphincter they might need lifelong therapy in them actually in these both these conditions that is mechanically defective uh, sphincter or if the patient has the life expectancy of more than 10 years or uh, if they need lifelong therapy then surgical therapy is the treatment of choice in this condition then what are the principles of nissen spondoplication we do nissen spondoplication so what are the principles of this nissen spondoplication so in the nissen spondoplication if you see the principles first and foremost we should get a crural closure we should do a secure crural closure the crura should be closed and we should create a small short 360 degree floppy fundoplication should be done floppy fundus is created mainly to replicate the normal physiology of lower esophage lower esophageal sphincter that means if this is the esophagus okay now you will take this esophagus and you will wrap around it 360 degrees so that when you wrap around it 360 degrees shortly and the sphincter pressure here the pressure will increase and it will replicate as though there is normal lower esophageal sphincter so this is nissen spondoplication which is done for gastroesophageal reflux disease thank you and thank you for watching